Think knowledge is power. What if it's actually a curse? Okay, let's talk about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and your theory on it and why you think it's called that, kind of like going behind the name. Yeah, so if you think of the name that God gave to this tree, the mm -hmm. knowledge of good and evil, think of how when you're a child and everything is like, everything's okay, every, life you're is not great, you're not about worried anything. about anything. But then you come to the kitchen and there's the stove. And then as parents, we tell our child, like, don't touch the stove, it's hot. Please don't do it. So they don't have that knowledge until they one day experience right. something hot and they then get injured from that. So right. I kind of took that back a few bit and was just like, okay, like maybe he was giving us this tree this not parameter to from, right because he didn't want us to be working he didn't want the anxiety that came along with oh something bad might happen he wanted us. us to just rely on him and he was going to provide every single thing god's going to provide us with everything that we need and that relationship that he wants right and he's like please don't eat from this one tree that's like the only rule mm -hmm. because once you do then you do actually get that knowledge which could end up being the curse which he was which it our is. protector <laughs> Correct. he was the parent in this parent child relationship relationship mm -hmm. he was the one trying to protect us like i don't want you to have to worry about i don't this. want you to have to go through just all like this we pain. don't want all of our like children to worry about things right but that didn't happen yeah and we would love to hear what you guys think in the comments so go ahead and let us know what you think about the theory that we have about the tree of the knowledge of good and evil